Day four, Luke four. Here, Jesus is tempted by the devil before the start of his public ministry. The devil, he's a created being, and he can only be in one place at a time. Unlike God, he's not omnipresent. So while he was tempting Jesus, he wasn't tempting anyone else. Three temptations are recorded. On each occasion, Jesus answers the tempter with a verse of Scripture, and that's a good pattern for us too. Then we see that Jesus of Nazareth becomes rejected of Nazareth. In the synagogue, maybe even the synagogue, the one that he attended as a child, he read out an Old Testament prophecy about the coming of the Messiah. And then he tells the congregation that he is the fulfillment of that prophecy. Jesus was claiming to be the Messiah. But oddly, it isn't that that seems to upset the people. It's what Jesus goes on to say next that upsets them. Why not look up? What made them so furious that they wanted to kill him? Jesus then moved on to Capernaum. In that synagogue, there was a man possessed with an evil spirit who said, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked the demon and restored the man. He goes on to lay hands on people and heal them of the sicknesses, and he restores others who are possessed by evil spirits. Note the demons cry out, you are the Son of God, but Jesus wouldn't let them say anything else. Why was that? Note the contradiction that the devil and all the demons recognized that Jesus was the Son of God, and yet the mob in Nazareth didn't. Nevertheless, others were amazed at his gracious words and his teaching, which had power and authority. Jesus still divides people like that today. It's impossible to ignore the fact that all the way through this passage of Scripture, we see the supernatural and the miraculous. And we shouldn't try and remove either from the pages of Scripture, because those miracles are the evidence that Jesus was and is the Son of God.